You see a squirt? What's that? No way. They're so high energy and tons of nerves, right? So they'll just like, when they get excited, they just like shake with joy. What's that? They're not real dogs. <laughs> They're not real dogs. Any, anything smaller than like a lab is not a real dog. Well, give him a kiss. Be nice. Kiss, kiss. Yeah, kiss, kiss. He must be a sweet guy versus a big biker type guy. It was love at first bite. I said bite, right? When I see a large man walking a small dog, I feel usually it's because he has to take care of it for his girlfriend. Normally, I think it's somebody that's looking to pick up women. Uh, I assume it's not his. It's probably his girlfriend's. I mean, why would a larger man have a small dog? You see a big, tough guy with a little poodle or something like that, you know? People start to think of these big guys as tough and whatnot. But, you know, sometimes they just want to roll around with a cute little puppy or whatever. Oh, look at you prancing over there, eh? Okay. You're terribly cute. You always get what you want, no matter what. You just do that, and it works. <laughs> do you imagine coming across this dog in an alleyway? He wants physical contact a lot. He wants to cuddle with you. You kind of move from being an alien face hugger, like, like that. Nowadays, he actually can just be sitting beside you. So we're working on that kind of neediness, because we want to reduce your anxiety. He came up for the first time. He sat on my lap, and he put his face right in front of my face. And that was it. Like, we have great times. I laugh at him a lot. But like at the same time, I hope he's laughing at me a lot too. He's like, your decisions in life are horrible. You can make this difficult right now. You've done this in a long time. It's funny because initially I was supposed to get a King Shepherd, and my roommate at the time was looking for Pomeranians, and she was on Kijiji and stumbled across an ad for a litter of rescue teacup chihuahuas. I went there and saw six what looked like hamsters, and she sort of stumbled over, and she just sort of like put her feet on my foot, which was three times the size of her body. Within five minutes of meeting her, I was like, I need, this dog's gonna be mine. <laughs> One more, good girl. And here I am six years later with a three pound chihuahua. Perma puppy. This is my every winter day carry and she go around. I saw this photo on uh, Instagram and couldn't help myself. He's a rescue from the Dominican and he's uh, my homeboy. Look at this girl. The squirrel is literally your size, dog. Apparently, chihuahuas are not desirable in the southern United States. They're just they're treated almost like vermin. They're apparently the second most exterminated breed um, of dog in North America. So 13 unwanted chihuahuas were being shipped across the border, and Ray and her mom drove over to Hamilton and picked this guy out. I've always kind of wanted a skunk, and I uh, also like cats, but I'm allergic to cats. So I wanted a dog that was kind of cat-ish and had skunk characteristics. And it's been love ever since. Right, Bisqui? <laughs> First dog we fostered was a bulldog, and our second dog, we went from an 80-pound bulldog to a four-pound chihuahua. I thought he was a hairless dog the day he arrived. He was just so frail at the time and so malnourished and scraggly looking. I didn't want anybody else to be responsible for making him better, and I knew we would be able to do it, and it'd be fine. <laughs> I don't think he thinks very much about the monkey game, to be honest with you. I think it's more for me than it is for him. My first dog was an American Bulldog. 
And he was a gentle giant, but very playful. And I look at this guy and I'm like, he's a gentle giant, but very playful. I was diagnosed with a neurological condition that makes me like shake and stuff. And he has the exact same shakiness about him. And then he also has asthma and I have asthma. So we were like, it's like kismet. We were like meant to be together somehow. Even if we're unhappy with each other or one of us has had a bad day, all it takes is about five seconds of him looking like a little goofball and it's all just gone. It's just become such a part of our lives. It's a sense of companionship and uh, unconditional love, somebody to look forward to come home to every time, you know, that sort of thing. Somebody to take care of. It's weird because I don't really have any kids and I don't really plan to have kids. So this is kind of like the closest thing I could get to feeling of being uh, needed by something. It's the most consistent love from a living creature that you'll ever get. I just have a compact version of that same love and same friendship that people get with big dogs. The one funny thing that, like, comment I get, that's an awfully small dog for such a big man. I've had people slam on their brakes in the middle of the street and pull their phone out and be like, oh my god, oh my god, what the heck is that? Just like videotaping me, I'm just like, oh my gosh. Once, once a week, someone will think it's my girlfriend's dog. To someone who has been told that small dogs are for women or big dogs are manly dogs, I don't think it really matters on what size the dog is. If it's your dog, it's your dog. I love how small he is. It's part of his charm. Walking down the street with this dog and the, the people like looking at me, then looking at the dog, and then looking at me again with this huge smile on their face. Like everybody is, you know, walking down the street, distracted, looking at their phones, and everybody kind of looks miserable most of the time, I find. And then this little bright light that shines into their lives. If like people want to uh, make silly judgments about uh, my having a dog, then it's hardly the worst thing that's going to happen in my life. Everybody asked me if I got him because I wanted to pick up women. But the thing is, that would be the worst thing to do because not only does that not help you pick up women, because women are more concerned about him than they are about me. <laughs> but it's just the wrong way to think about it. He's just a dog who needed a home, and I gave him a fucking home. I'm originally from Ottawa, back home in Ottawa. This would be a laughing stock. <laughs> Today's day and age is a lot of change, and this is a very mild version of it. Five, 10 years from now, this isn't gonna be that uncommon. That's my forecast anyways. Maybe he likes small dogs and he just thinks it's cute. It's just practical. A dog is a dog, regardless of the size. Maybe they just like little lap dogs, or they're really comfortable in their masculinity and they don't need a big bull mastiff beside them to say I'm a real man. Ha <laughs> ha.